Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. Well, we've reached the end of week two of Cut Down to KetoCon with Watch Autumn Keto. And we're going to see how we did right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. On, and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so it's the end of week two of our cut down to keto con challenge with watch autumn keto week two is in the books week two is in the books. we have survived week two yeah now if you are new to our channel we're in the middle of a challenge uh, we're doing a collaboration with watch autumn keto and i will leave a link for her channel over rachel's head and if you haven't seen her channel, she is absolutely awesome. Amazing. So gifted, so talented. And if you haven't seen her um, video that she did this week where she spotlights her Excel spreadsheet for like tracking your macros, like do yourself a favor. Yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> Go I mean, to her she's website. She's got this whole spreadsheet on how to figure out what your BMR is and what macros you should be following like on keto. I mean, we have a basic keto calculator like on our website, but on our keto calculator, it's gonna just assume a certain parameters and put you between 75 to 80% fat, whereas hers allows you to kind of dial in exactly what you want. If you wanna have a little bit more protein, you can dial it in. So much customization, but I had to watch the video twice because she was so beautiful in that video <laughs> that I was like completely like distracted. Like her yeah, hair and makeup, incredible. oh my gracious. So like, You need yeah. to have her do some of your hair and makeup and stuff I at know. KetoCon. Mine's like jacked. So let's talk about the challenge this week. What's going on here? My, my iPhone doesn't even recognize me. So let's talk about the challenge a little bit this week because this week was really was a challenge for us. Yeah, this was like be on a cut vacation edition, yeah. family visiting edition. Yeah, my mother and my sister were in town for Caleb's graduation. So we did do a bunch of meal prepping at the beginning of the week. And, I'm glad we know, followed through with that. We did follow through with that. So we had made like broccoli casserole. We made a lasagna. I had uh, I smoked a brisket. So all of that food was prepared all week long. And you also made like some pizza, some uh, pizzas. I did make some pizzas, and I made some chicken salad. And you made some chicken salad. It was quite delicious. But having all that meal prep was really good because it helped us stay on plan. But it did kind of affect us in one way as far as the challenge because one of our goals with the challenge was we were going to meticulously track what we ate. And I kind of dropped the ball on that one. Well, because there's only so many hours in the day. Yeah. And then you're running around and being like, I need pantyhose. Let's run to the store. Or, you know, I've got to go. Let's go. We need something. Somebody needs an extra something. Like, you have to get, right. we're going in the pool. Like, And I really only get to see my mom, like, once a year. So I didn't want to spend all of that extra time on the computer, which is why yeah. we filmed so many videos last week so that you guys would have videos this week. So... We didn't track everything specifically, but I knew because when I did do all the meal prepping, I had cut everything into portion sizes. Right. So I knew that like a portion of this, one piece of it is 600 calories. I knew how many grams of fat it was. I knew how many carbs it was. So we stayed in our calorie range. We stayed in our carb range. We just failed on that other part of the meticulously tracking, but we are going to get back on that this week. Yeah. So why don't we check in with Autumn? We sent Autumn a bunch of questions. Yeah. And let's check out what her answers to the questions were. Awesome. So Autumn, did you have any particular challenges this week? Honestly, the biggest challenge this week was just the noticeable decrease in, I guess, calories or 
macros, carbs really. Not having that cauliflower was really noticeable. Uh, and then also the challenge was figuring out how to hit my new macros exactly. Uh, if you watch my meal prep from last week, you know I had like a random amount of grams of chicken, canned chicken, and a random amount of mayo just to sort of, um, you know, get the, the macros to fit exactly. So that was a challenge. But honestly, not really just because I know that I'm doing a particular challenge for a particular reason. So even though things don't really make sense right now, it's all for a reason and I was able to stick with it. Yeah, it's definitely a challenge when you're trying to adjust to new macros. I mean, and that's the same thing that we had because we had family in town and trying just trying to hit those macros even though we were in the middle of a challenge. I think that is a really good attitude to have. Like you're in the middle of a challenge, so you know, you're you're just you're focused on what you got to do and it you're all business about it. Yeah, it's a great attitude to have. So how did you get creative this week to stick to the challenge? I would say my biggest creative move this week was that chocolate whipped cream that I had. Uh, that's a, just a great source of pretty much straight fat. And then I put some cocoa powder in there and some sweetener. Like it was so good. And it was honestly the thing I looked forward to the most every day. So, you know, yeah, I might've been missing some cauliflower, but like who cares? Because I had that delicious chocolate mousse and like that's gonna be a staple probably for the rest of the challenge and the rest of my keto life. Like I, that is just one of the best things I've ever had and has really made sticking to the plan and really getting in the fats a lot easier. Oh my goodness, when I saw that What I'm Eating Wednesday video and saw that chocolate mousse for the first time, I thought, what have we been doing? Yes. Why did we not make this? Like it, it looks amazing, right? We have so many different kitchen appliances that can make whipped cream and we have not been making that. And I am planning on incorporating that into our meals starting this week. Thank you. I feel like an idiot that we've been missing out on yeah. that for how long And I'm going to try it both with that cocoa powder and even without maybe add some like almond extract or, oh my gosh, that is such a great idea. I feel like... You were you you made something that was like let's put wheels on the car yeah. let's see how that works like it was just smart but I don't know why I missed it it looks really good and I used to love chocolate mousse who so doesn't I'm, monsters I can't wait to try that this week what is something that you thought you'd miss on this challenge but you haven't missed that's a good question honestly it started before this challenge but I've continued it through the challenge but the ice drinks and the Powerade Zeros. Like, I used to drink two to three of those every single day. Like, my recycling bin would just pile up with plastic bottles because I was going through them so frequently. Uh, but I have not had a Powerade or an ice drink in like a month at this point. And you know what? I'm doing great. I just drink water and I just drink Zevia and like, it's going well. So I can't believe that that really hasn't had as big as an impact as I thought it would, seeing as I used to drink so many. I mean, but that just goes to show you, you know, you get into a certain habit, but it's just as easy to get out of it and to and to get strict and you don't miss that stuff. I can definitely relate to that. Yeah. Because for me, like cutting out the soda, like even going into this challenge, I was like kind of freaking out a little bit about cutting out the soda because I've done it in the past for like a week or two weeks or even a month for like our, my January fast. Mm -hmm. But just the thought of having to cut it out and, and be like so strict with it, I was freaking out about it. And now I'm finding two weeks in, I don't miss it. And I'm coming from drinking, like we figured it out the other day, I was getting like a 64 ounce soda at Wawa every day and then coming home and drinking another four or five cans. And I'm down to just like two or three Zevias plus water and seltzer water. So I can definitely relate to, like, I don't miss it. And I'm shocked I don't miss it. But I think I've just trained my brain. And you know what? You don't need it. And when you realize you don't need it, you can just move on. It was really autumn that inspired me to, like, let go of my gum yeah. for, for this time. I had kind of worked it out for a little bit and then went back to it because it's like my little, it's like a pacifier for me, right? It's like, it's my safety net. I love it. Um, but I thought, if I let it go, I mean, am I going to be able to function? You right. Know? And, and I've been fine. Now, so. if we could just get you to get rid of the coffee. Dream on. <laughs> Keep dreaming.
<laughs> okay, Autumn, you have to get your carbs down to 10 this week. What are you giving up now to lower them down to 10? Because I can't even think about lowering my carbs that low. Unfortunately, I think it's time for the vegetables to go. Like, I just don't see a world where I can eat that broccoli. You know, that was probably seven carbs right there because I'm counting total carbs. So I don't see where I can eat that much broccoli and have any carbs left for anything because I do count carbs like trace carbs in eggs and heavy cream, etc. cetera. Uh, you, know, you know I gotta have my two carbs for my Zip Fizz. So it's just gonna be a matter of giving up those vegetables that, you know, is really gonna hurt because the vegetables provide a lot of bulk and that feeling of satisfaction. But hey, we're strong. We can do anything. We got two weeks left and we can knock this out of the park. Oh my goodness, this one totally resonates with me. Yeah. Because I am all about adding volume to my meals. Like, I'm like, let's make a salad and let's make it this big. Like, literally this big. Like, bigger than his <laughs> head, please. Because it's like more volume. And it makes, you know, I eat with my eyes, yeah. honestly. So I want to see a big meal. And yeah, like the veggies, they take up a lot of the carbs. So, I mean, goodness. I'm praying for you. Like, <laughs> I know that's hard. Like, that's really, really hard to give up. I give you a lot of credit, Autumn, because honestly, I count the trace carbs in like cheese. I count trace carbs in, if I use heavy whipping cream, which isn't very often. Right. But I honestly don't tr count the trace carbs in eggs because they don't show up in chronometer. So, you know, I don't really count them, although I probably should. So you're even doing better than I am as far you're as amazing. counting those total carbs. Yeah. But I know that is definitely something that I always worry about with us with the volume as well. All right, so finally, are you making any other changes? Um, no, I'm not really making any other changes. I really think I've settled into a groove. I've been working out very well uh, and nothing really needs to change. I just wanna figure out how to get more bulk into my diet. And I know that's gonna be hard because I'm cutting carbs, but like the kielbasa that I had last week was delicious, but like it's not very bulky because it's so fatty. You know, I could have two ounces, which is like barely a handful, you know? So it is fatty and it's helping me hit my macros, but it doesn't do a lot in the stomach fullness department. So I really think that these next two weeks coming up, I'm going to be leaning a lot on beverages. I'll probably introduce coffee even if it's not bulletproof coffee, even if it is just regular coffee with maybe one tablespoon of cream and some sweetener, but I'm going to be looking for more liquids or more bulk so that I can have that satisfied feeling so that I don't feel deprived because I know that if I go three, four, five days feeling deprived, something is just going to set me off and I'm like, you know what? All the keto bars all the keto bricks, all of the snacks, and I don't want that to happen. I'm committed to following this challenge all the way through, and so I just have to prepare myself and do what I know uh, sets me up for success. Yeah, we're in the same boat with that, you know, trying to figure out the volume, and you know, one of the things that like I absolutely love is my ribs. I even have a rack of ribs defrosted. I'm just gonna like smoke them up, you know, probably tomorrow, and then after that, we're pretty much going to go to eggs and ground beef and butter because there's more volume. I mean, yeah. a pound of ground beef is like 1,000, 1,100 calories. But when you get into that pork, you know, a pound of like pork spare ribs, that's like over 3,000 calories. So it's like if I can eat a pound of ground beef or I can eat a third of a pound of pork, I'd rather eat that ground beef because I feel like it's gonna fill me up a little bit more. Yeah, and you have to plan for success or I'll be right where where you're at where it's like, forget it, let's just, you know, go crazy and yeah. I'm gonna go find the pork rinds and, you know, all kinds of stuff and just and eat a ton of cheese and, and just try to fill up. So I don't wanna sabotage myself right. by, by mopping myself into a corner. So I know I'm gonna want a little bit more volume, so you know, yeah, I, I lean on beverages also. Yep. Thanks so much for checking in, you guys. We'll talk next week. So bye. We'll see you next week. So Autumn is really doing incredible. She is really doing great. Just I'm amazing. so proud of her. I yeah. Mean, she's just sticking to it and doing the exercise and meal prepping and really like honing in on what carbs and what fats she can eat. It's all business. Yeah. I love that because it's not personal. It's and, just business. And she's right? motivating me to keep sticking with this. Yeah. I love it because you've got to take the emotion out of it and be like, I, I'm here to do a challenge. 
I'm doing it. I'm sticking with it and I'm going to have good success. Like I love her attitude and I'm really just like trying to do the same. Yeah. And you know what? Not only am I proud of her, I am proud of you because you. this week we had company we did. from Monday to Friday and every day you still got your bike ride in. Sometimes I had to do it in cloak of night <laughs> at the crack of dawn. But yeah, there was one day where she woke up at like 3 a.m. And I'm like, what are you doing? Gotta go on my bike ride. And she's like, yeah, I'm going on my bike ride. I felt like that Dunkin' Donuts guy. It's like, time to make the donuts. I was like, time to do the bike ride. But, you know, you don't want to be rude with your house guests and be like, oh, sorry. Like, I got to get out of the pool and go do my bike ride, you know. See you later, guys. I didn't want to do that. So, just, I worked around them. But really, like... It's these videos that are holding me accountable. I can't not do it. I have to stick with it. So I really appreciate our subscribers right. for just, you know, being here for us and cheering us on as we go through this. And I am proud of you too. You have also stuck with the whole soda challenge. Like That has been hard. I'm honestly like amazed. And I actually, I thought this was funny. So we met up at the gas station today. Yep. Right? Like we didn't plan it, but I was coming home from an appointment and you were going out to games. And so I I was watching him. Like, is he gonna come out of that Wawa with a soda in his hand? No, I came out with a bag of ice for my new cooler to because yeah. I had waters and I had a couple of seltzas and I had a couple of Zevias in there because I had lacrosse games all day. And honestly, this I think was the toughest day of the whole challenge for me because yeah. I had six lacrosse games today. And my normal routine for going to lacrosse, I had to get up at seven in the morning, yep. is like start off the day with something light, bring a bunch of bars with me, a bunch of meat sticks with me and snack throughout the day. You don't get bars. And I can't have bars. So what I ended up bringing with me, you know, I had a hard boiled egg when I left because I had pre-made some hard boiled eggs when my mom was here. So I had a hard boiled egg. I had one like of those little meat sticks that we got at Sprouts, yep. that little tiny the one. The Vermont one. The Vermont one, but it's like a half a meat stick. And then I brought a keto brick with me and I figured like I was going to, if I really needed some fuel, if I was really hungry, yeah. I was going to just like take a bite off of it. And then when I get home, I was going to measure it out what was left and I can deduct the grams because I know even if I eat the whole keto brick, I would stay under my carbs for the day. I didn't even touch the keto bread. I'm I'm surprised. So no bars. And I ended up going the whole day up until now when we're filming, which is like 930 at night. Yeah. And I ate a total of like 300 calories all day. I'm right there with you because so. I had a couple of eggs before we went to, to church because I didn't want to like be on nothing. And black coffee and... Well, good job. Doing this. Yeah. 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 We like, got this. Yeah, the soda was definitely interesting for me, though. You're like, the first week was a tough. Now I'm finding it easy. I've got my Zevias. Like, I've discovered the Zevia teas. And, you know, even though everybody around me is drinking the sodas, and I was able to go to that tournament without my big 64-ounce mug of soda to get me through the day, I drank a lot of water. I drank my Zip Fizz. And I'm finding it easier and easier. So I'm hoping to never go back to it. Like I, I hope. So long as the price of Zevia stays where it's at. It will keep you honest, right? So I'm hoping that we're going to do some kiss kiss this week. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, we're definitely keeping it simple. That's, that's our plan on moving forward. Um, this week, our kids aren't going to be home. They're going away to a youth conference for church. Woo, woo. So we have a house to ourselves. We don't have to worry about cooking them vegetables. Yeah. And no salad. So we have a little bit of salad stuff left over from like my mom and my sister visiting. We're Finish going to that eat that stuff up tomorrow, which is today for them watching it. It's going to be Sunday. Yeah. We're going to finish that up. We're going to eat a little bit of cauliflower and then we're pretty much going to very simple because this way we can get volume. We're not going to do a bunch of spices. We're not going to do a bunch of sauces, just like mayonnaise, butter, fats, ground beef, maybe some pork in there, but keep it simple. I'm looking forward to it. I, I do I... have a little present for you tomorrow though. Oh, what is that? I am already defrosting chicken wings. <gasps> oh, and we're just, yeah. we're just going to do like salt and pepper with probably I'm going to maybe mix it with some of those little true lemon packets to do like a lemon kind of pepper. What? 
carrots. But no sauce. No sauce because there's too many carbs That's in the sauce. okay. So. But you got to cook them like a long time. You know, I like them almost burnt. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I do. So that is the end of week two of Cut Down to KetoCon. Again, if you have not checked out Autumn's channel, please go check it out. I mean, she really is incredible. I love watching her. She's super entertaining, especially when her mother and her sisters pop in. I don't know. I like everything she does. Yeah. So uh, if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to and it. And we will check in with you guys on the Cut Down to KetoCon next Sunday. All right. Until then. Bye. bye.